Hello and welcome to another Resolve tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to install the Decklink Mini Monitor 4K. So this is a card that you can install to get full screen playback on Resolve in 10-bit with no OS color management. So we're just going to go ahead and install it into one of the spare PCIe slots in my PC. The first step is to remove the grating. You can really damage and break your PC by installing parts incorrectly. If you're confident about installing new PC parts, go ahead, but otherwise I would look at getting some IT help. As you can see, this is the card. It's got an SDI out and an HDMI out. There are basic things that you can do to avoid damage, things like anti-static straps or mats, which can help you avoid electric discharges on circuits and the sensitive electrical components. So if we open up our browser and go to the support center on Blackmagic's site, and type in Decklink Mini Monitor 4K. You'll see that it'll take us to the download section where we can download Desktop Video, which is the software that provides all support for playback and capture for the Decklink card. So we need to install this before we can get it to work. While we wait for this, we can open up the device manager. This allows us to check that the computer can see the device, but as you can see, we need to install additional software. So after that's downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and go through the desktop video setup you can see that it has compatibility for Resolve, which is what we want. I'm going to nip through this and hit install. I've sped up this process and we need to restart it once it's finished. So once you've restarted, you can go over to the Blackmagic Design folder and you should be able to see the Blackmagic desktop video setup. Now, this will enable you to customize everything, really. Um, what your default video standard will be and all of the conversion video output options that you might want to fiddle with. So uh, feel free to go check that one out and set your default output. Once you're finished doing that, you can go ahead and click save and close the desktop video editor. We can open up Resolve finally and go into the preferences. Um, if we go over to the video and audio IO tab, you can see that at the top, uh, the for capture and playback use needs to be set to Decklink Mini Monitor 4K. When I did this, uh, the audio automatically swapped to the Decklink card as well. I want the audio to be coming out of my Logitech speakers, so I had to go ahead and just change that back. And there you have it. That should give you full screen output in 10-bit with no color management from your OS. This is directly outputting from this card. Hopefully this will put you at ease if you've ordered one and hoping that everything will work when it's all connected and it does. So yay. If you could like and share this video, if you found it helpful, that would be great. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.